So for those of you who haven't noticed, the stem export has come back into Harrison Mixbus and Mixbus 32C. It was gone for a while, it's back, it's really powerful. Let's have a look at it. Stems are the constituent parts of a mix, whether you believe that to be individual multi-tracks or as most professionals would say, the uh, essentially the groups. So you'd have a drum stem, a bass stem, guitar stem, vocal stem, effect stem, that kind of thing. Uh, usually you want to keep your stems to a fairly minimal amount so when they are presented to, as a pack to um, maybe a TV or film editor, they can uh, sound editor, they can pull out the, say, the vocals underneath uh, an important part of dialogue or something like that. And, you know, working like this allows you to um, almost... Uh, prepare your uh, music mixes for uh, use in sync. Uh, so maybe you can make a bit of extra income for your artists or your clients by doing that. Maybe your record label already uh, requires you to submit stems, or maybe you're working with a band that want to put stems onto uh, Guitar Hero or whatever they're playing at the minute. Um, so how do you do this? Well, it, it's come back actually into Mixbus. It used to be not, uh, it, it was this, the, the function was discontinued for a little while um, and, and they brought it back. So let's hear what we've got on the shells, for instance. And the metal. So in theory, these these um, groups are going to add up to form close to the full mix. Uh, so all we do is go into help, and I've already conveniently typed stem for stem export, and here we go. So we can choose our channels that we're going to use. Let's just say shells and guitars and vocals, for example, now. And I'm just going to choose a time span. In this case, I'm going to use the loop time span to make things nice and quick. Uh, we can analyze exported audio and here we go. Yeah, so this is essentially uh, all the settings that I want. So I'm going to run this and what it's doing now is it's just exporting each of those uh, chunks as a separate stem. And here we go. Look at this magic. So we now have... Um, we've got the guitar stem. We've got the drum shell stem, and let's hear the vocal stem. Hey, she drives a BMW. So, super quick way of exporting stereo stems. Um, you know, if you wanted to, exp if you'd done some work and you want to export your multi tracks, you just click on all of the the files there, and that will export your multi tracks. So, you then have nice coherent files to share with someone else someone else who's working on the project. So that's stem exporting. Uh, it's not really complicated. Um, it's nice to see it back in Mixbus and uh, it's very, very useful. Another power user tip that's going to save you hours and hours of time. Trust me, this is one of the prime reasons I use um, Mixbus because <sighs> It really just makes life so much easier for me as, as a professional. Um, things just happen quicker. I can go away and leave things to to run. And, um, you know, all the processes that I want completing are automated and done in a really nice way. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you get some use out of the STEM export, whether it's for exporting um, edited multitracks or groups or both. Um, yeah, enjoy. Well, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, the other button works quite well. I'll see you next time.